I can show you how it's done. Draw us a picture, Louise. When I draw that in, the magic will begin. And together we'll make the picture come real. Draw us a picture, Louise. Take a look and see how easy it can be. Come along and draw with me. So draw us a picture. Ghost. Hello, Yoko! Hello there, my friends. Have any of you seen Louie? No! We're scaring each other. So I'm going to hide behind that big tree. And when it comes out, I'll go boo! Pretty scary, huh? A little, Yoko! <laughs> This time, friends, I'm going to win. Remember, shh. <laughs> okay, Yoko. Shh. <laughs> Hello, Louie. Hello there, my friends. Have you seen Yoko? Hmm. <laughs> Yoko and I are scaring each other, and I'm sure she's hidden somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> gotcha. Oh, no, it's not fair, Louie. You're always winning everything. Well, of course, Yoko. You can't scare me. Oh, you're far too sweet. Far too sweet? Oh, thank you, Louie. You know, if I teamed up with someone who makes you scared, I'm sure I'd win. Maybe. Who are you thinking of, Yoko? <laughs> I'm thinking of, uh... Well, what makes you scared, Louie? Well, uh... Actually, I've always wondered if, uh, um, if a ghost would scare me. You wonder if a ghost would scare you? Of course a ghost would scare you. <laughs> it's a great idea. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. And you, friends, do you think that ghosts are really scary? Oh, yes! Yippee! This time I'm definitely going to win. Here I am. <laughs> Got <you> again. <laughs> I'm sure you won't be as confident once I'm teamed up with the the ghost. We shall see. To draw a ghost, I start with the head. I draw a semicircle, then I draw a slanted line to make his arm. I come right back up, then I come back down to draw his body. I'll help you. At the bottom, you draw a wavy line. Yes, because that gives the impression that he's floating in the air. Well done, Yoko. And now we go all the way back to the top. I draw the other arm and join it to the head. But Louie, he's not scary at all. That's because he still needs some eyes and a mouth. I draw two large ovals for his eyes and a large oval for his mouth. And now, friends, we have to... Colour him in! Hello, my name is William. Hello, William. My name's Yoko, and this is Louie, my friend. We're scaring each other, and Louie wins every time. So we thought that you might be able to help Yoko to scare me. Mmm, okay. But how do I do that? It's simple. You float in the air while going... Ooh, ooh, ooh. And when you see ooh. Louie, you say... Oh! Uh, help oh. me! Help me! Help me! William! William! Come back! It was a joke! Um, Yoko, I think that we have to draw another ghost. A courageous ghost this time. To draw a ghost, you start with his rounded head. Then you come down with a slant to draw his arm. You come back up and then down again to draw the body. Underneath, you draw a wavy line, which gives the impression that he's floating in the air. Then you come back up. You do the other arm and join it up to the head. You draw two slightly misshaped ovals for his eyes and a large oval for his mouth. And now you can colour him in however you like. Hello there. My name is Jerome. Uh, hello, Jerome. 
Um, Yoko needs your help to make me scared. <laughs> we don't want to disturb you. No, we'll play another game, huh? Right, Louis? Scaring people. Well, I love that. I can fly through the air, raising my arms and saying things like, ooh, ooh, ah! ooh. Ah! I can imitate the sound of creaking furniture. <laughs> I can float through solid walls. And through solid trees as well. <laughs> ah, it's a ghost! Please help me! Help me! I made him scared. I made him scared. Yippee! 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 <laughs> And now, friends, if you'd like to draw a ghost, have a go. See you soon then, friends! See you soon, Louie! See you soon, Yoko! <laughs> Webs. Yuck again! Yoko, I think we need to find someone to help us make our potion. Someone like a witch. <laughs> a witch! Well done, my friends. Don't move now. I'll be back. I think witches must be very brave, because to me, spider's webs and toe dribble are yucky, aren't they? Yuck! I'm back! To draw a witch, I start by drawing her pointy hat, a triangle and a squashed circle. And then I draw her head, oval with a long hooked nose. <laughs> and me, I'll draw two circles with dots in the middle for her eyes. I draw a crescent for her mouth with two squares for her teeth. And for her hair, I draw three points on each side. Bravo, Yoko! Now I draw a long triangle for her body. And then I draw in her arms with her hands sticking out at the end. And me, I'll draw her feet. Now we just have to... Colour her in! Mrs. Witch, please could you help us make the potion which makes things invisible? Oh, that's very easy. <laughs> really? Well, of course. 
course, you can trust me. I even went to witch school, you know. Witch school? Oh! So then, one rotten apple, the web of a spider, some coal dust from a broom, the fur of a vampire bat, some gloopy toad dribble. There you go. We just have to stir it. It smells funny. Whoa! You okay, Yoko? Oh, yes. Oh, I've come over all funny. What's happened to me? Please, Mrs. Witch, do something. I'm sorry. I went to witch school, but, but I never got my degree. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what will become of me? Don't you worry. I've an idea. To draw a witch, you start with her pointy hat, a triangle and a squash circle. Then her oval head with a long hooked nose. You draw two circles with a dot in the middle for her eyes and a crescent shape for her mouth with two squares for her teeth. <coughs> then you add three points on each side for her hair. <coughs> for her body, you draw a long triangle. <coughs> <coughs> then her arms with her hands sticking out at the ends. <coughs> Oh dear. And finally, you draw her feet. And afterwards, you can colour her in however you like. Hello! My name's Sandra the Witch. My name's Yoko. Oh dear, you look like you've been put under a spell. <laughs> you shouldn't play with this. It's a book of spells for playing tricks. <laughs> for playing tricks? Oh, yes. But don't you worry now. I can fix everything. Abracadabra. 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 Cadabra. Oh. I said cadabra. Huh? Cadabra! Ah! Oh. Hooray! Yoko, you're back to your old self again. Really? Yes! Oh, thank you, thank you, and I can fly! <laughs> Thanks, Sandra. That's okay. <laughs> Would you like to fly as well, Louis? Yes, please. Okay, climb on! And now, friends, if you'd like to draw a witch, have a go. Up and away! See you soon then, my friends! See you soon, Louis! See you soon, Yoko! <laughs> It's 
different. I'll try the pink one. Good idea, Yoko. It's a strawberry cake with tomato sauce. Ooh. Try it, Yoko. Uh, oh, I forgot the next course. Oh, dear me, Louie. Do you like them? Not really, but if we don't eat them, Sophie will be very upset. Yes, you're right. And this is my tart with pepper and cherry jam. Oh, no. Don't you want to eat my food? In fact, Sophie, you've made us too many things to eat. That's right. And we have really full tummies. But we can't waste all that food. I know someone who could help us. It's someone who has a huge appetite. Oh, oh right. Who's, who's that? that? An ogre. Don't move. I'll be back. An ogre? But in fairy tales, the ogres eat little animals. Oh, don't worry, Sophie. Once he's eaten all of these cakes, the ogre won't be hungry anymore. Believe me. I'm back. My friends, would you like to draw an ogre with us? Oh, yes. And so, to draw an ogre, I start with his head, in a pear shape. I add three little straight lines for his hair, and I add two triangles for his pointy ears. Then I give him a big nose, with two dots for his nostrils, two little dots for his eyes, and then I add a wide mouth. Ah, oh, yes! So he can eat dots of cake! And next, I draw him an arm and a hand. And I do the same thing on the other side. I make his tummy really round with a big wide belt. Finally, you draw his legs and you finish him off with his two great big boots. I'll do them. One. And two. Voila. And now, all that's left to do is... Colour him in. My name is Hector. Hello, Hello Hector. Hector. Hector? It looks like you have a good appetite. Look here. I've got lots of delicious cakes for you to eat. Let's see what there is. I have exceptionally good taste, you know. Um, I can smell flour and pepper, vinegar. That's right. Try it. Uh, no. I'd rather try this one here. Some salt, some sugar, some strawberry, and cabbage? Yes! Go on, Hector. Try it. What, eat it? Um, no. There's far, far too much, um, for me, for me to eat. Uh, in fact, I must be off now. Uh, I have a meeting. But, Louie, no one's never, ever going to eat my cake. Don't worry. I've an idea. To draw an ogre, you start with his head in the shape of a pear. Then you add his hair and his pointy ears. Next, you add two dots for his eyes. You draw his nose with two dots for his nostrils, then his mouth really wide. You add his arms and his hands. You continue with his big tummy. Then you make his belt. And you finish with his legs. And his really big boots. When you've finished, then you can colour him in however you like. Hello, everyone. My name's Ludwig. Hello, Ludwig. Do you like eating? That smell. Oh. That smell. It smells like cakes. I love cakes. Mm, I love them. Finally, someone who appreciates Sophie's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. What else is there to eat? Oh, if you want, I can make you lots and lots more cakes. 
Yes. Oh, yes. Goody, goody, goody. I'm going to eat some cake. I'm going to eat some cake. And oh, now, I'm eat if some you'd cake. like to draw an ogre, then have a go. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye, Lily.